Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to share another psychic story and this one truly warmed my heart when I heard this. You know, um, I had a reoccurring client and she made a phone session with me and the first thing she said was, Susan, I cannot tell you the peace you brought to my family. And I said, did I? And she says, yes. She says, what you said in our last reading regarding my father, I will be forever grateful. And I said, you know, I'm so sorry, but I never remember my readings. I remember you, your name, but I don't remember, I just don't remember the readings because I always say, the messages that I get are for you. They're not for me to retain. So she says, oh, I, I don't expect you to remember. You do so many people. So she proceeded to tell me that when she had the last reading with me, um, I made contact with her father and her father kept saying, I'm so sorry that I kept hearing remorse. And I saw a very difficult personality in life that her father was. And she says, you're correct. And I said, he's so sorry. And she goes, is he really? I said, yeah. She goes, he was really difficult, Susan, to all of us. And she says, then you proceeded to say that my father had a concussion, that you were saying that he had a concussion and a traumatic brain injury, that that's what my father kept telling you. She says, I found that hard to believe because she says, my father never had a concussion or a traumatic brain injury. And you were insistent that he did because of what he kept telling you. And I always tell people when it's between spirit and people present, I always, always listen to spirit. They have no cause to lie. So she says, well, I'll ask my mom. She says, but I sincerely doubt my father had a traumatic brain injury. I said, just do me a favor and ask because he's adamant about it. So now to the present phone call, she's explaining to me that her grandfather, which is her father's father, who is still alive and 95 years old, decided he was going to give all his old photo albums of the family and she was getting you know the photo album so when she picked up the photo album there was a picture that slid out of the photo album and there was an article she looked and it's her father at 10 years old and the article is boy who got run over by a car dramatically makes it and survived and she says this is my dad she says oh my god my dad had a concussion he had a traumatic brain injury she goes but why didn't anybody in the family ever talk about this my grandparents never did my father never did so I take this clipping and this picture of my father at 10 years old and showed it to my mother she goes mom did you know this she goes no I never knew this she said, Susan, you not only confirmed what my father was trying to say in the previous phone session, but it made so much sense. And you know, all this time I kept thinking, is there something I could have done better to make a better relationship with my father? I had a lot of guilt. And she says, long story short, I now had empathy for my father because yes, it altered his personality because of the injury at 10 years old that he sustained. But I had much more understanding and a deeper sorrow for my father. I didn't take it personal any longer and I thought it must be really hard for him to get through life with a brain injury. So she says, Susan, you've been an angel because of what you confirmed and I cannot tell you enough the gratitude that I have because you put so much in perspective, not just with me, but even for my family. So that truly touched my heart. I couldn't say thank you enough. And she says, no, I'm thanking you. I says, no, it's the other way around. This is why I do what I do. People often ask me, Susan, when are you gonna retire? And I say, never. As long as I can breathe, I will keep doing this because what this gives back and that I could be a voice to loved ones that have passed to get the story straight is worth it. So I hope this has enlightened you. I It truly touched my heart in so many ways and I'm forever grateful. And I am forever grateful not only to the clients, but to the spirit world each and every minute of my life. So I just wanted to share it. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, 
you'll hear more stories. So I hope you have a very blessed week. Pay attention, keep your heart open, keep your mind open, because you'll be pleasantly surprised at what the messages truly does unveil and present sometimes. So please subscribe to YouTube, to Facebook, and there will be a lot more stories coming. You take care. All my love. Bye-bye. Thank you.